So I'm walking to this another section of the of the um, the museum. Which I'm walking to right now. It's all a bunch of tumbleweeds and Most of the train cars are restored, but mostly that's it. Mostly there's a museum back here. There's some other trains like this one right here. But not just only steam trains, they have diesel trains as well. Like this one. Right next to the number one. They actually filmed a movie here which was pretty amazing for the condition of the... It was called uh, Chips. Yeah, they filmed it on here. By the... They used to have like airplanes here, yeah, but now it's just trains and there's a steam locomotive. This one's at foundation as well. And here's number one, the most restored locomotive around here, I guess. But yeah, it's nice and shady here once you go to the Puramanad decks of the locomotive. So here it is. Big drivers. Boy, what's stored. I, I think it's the oldest train around here. But there's another diesel train. That. It's hot on the summer day. Just a week before school starts. And here we have the 664, which has been here for a very long time. Used to be one to the, the Santa Fe Railroad, till they got into the GM diesel trains, and these replaced them. So now it's at a museum. There's a helicopter. And they also like events here yeah, and stuff. So that's why they have benches. And this is one of the active locomotives. It's not one in today, but used to be one. Number 56. And here we have number seven. Unrestored, unpainted. It's a 284 locomotive. But yeah, it's boilers in bad condition. I think the reason why they bought these trains here, I think I think they like wanted to like preserve one of them. So they like built a museum. They didn't put the fences in, but they um they first my guessing is that they first bought the locomotives here, then put the whole museum up. Because these locomotives are heavy and sometimes they needed to be put by truck or something that can, you know, gather, move them around. So.
and they sometimes move the locomotives, but not today. And they preserved some train cars as well. You can see it's in bad condition. They have a lot of bots cars. Along here. Union Pacific. Some of these trains are in good condition, some of these are in bad condition. There's a model train that you can ride on here to tour the railroad. Here we got a Western Pacific number 26. Again, it's dedicated to the children of Los Angeles by the Western Pacific Railroad. And the Western Pacific Railroad is another museum in California. But the Western Pacific used to used to operate back in its days. Now one of the locomotives sits here, rusting away, not taking care of one of them. But number twenty. But recently, the Western Pacific has um, restored a locomotive, a steam locomotive, number 163. And it has, it's running and they just restored it. They just finished restored it. Like, I don't know, one month ago? Anyways, it's back into condition, working condition, as far as I can say. Locomotive number 1273 used to be one to the Southern Pacific. Again, it's another donation from the Southern Pacific Railroad. There's not as many people as as there was normally, but but there's some shade locomotives here as well. Like another one here, number one. These were small locomotives used for the British and the American railroad industries up until like the 70s or the 60s when they like stopped using them for a like, diesel conversion. As you can see, I think this is a Shea locomotive. They were used for the logging industry. And there's one still in action at the Yosemite Park Railroad, which is in Yosemite. Shays were built to, to haul 
blogging and has a different wheel setup has these pistons instead of wheels or drivers as they call them and then they have one for oil and for coal as you can see it's oil converted it's a steam locomotive but Griff Travel Town is right by a freeway so that's why you you hear a bunch of cars and this is another locomotive it's another type they were these were built these were built for the logging industry as well as you can see they have a different wheel setup and a different boiler so that they can push steam directly this one is the number six right here and here's another one i think this is used for the little railroads the miniature narrow gauge railroads for logging as well these were 280 locomotives as a small boiler usually these were used for the British and the American sometimes even the foreign countries like countries are like all around the world they have a lot of trains and train cars around here so matters will you enjoy Put a like and subscribe on that and put a notification bell so you can get new videos like every week and shorts. I'm uploading shorts from now on. I just uploaded a video yesterday. So peace. Stay cool. Stay cool in school kids. And see you all next time.